Hey, hey, what's good, y'all? Sauce Twins, baby. What's happening? Too tall. Too short. So, huh. I got a question for y'all today. What I want to know is, is it worth, if you can afford it, is it still worth to buy your kids or have your kids in some type of athletic training? If they aren't like going to be a scholarship kid or if, even if you don't really know if they can play at the next level, is it still worth to invest in your kid for some type of athletic or fitness training? Or do you just let them go to school and get it there? And, and, and yeah, and just play. But you have the funds to get it. Is it something that's worth it or not? What'd you think? Uh, you know, for me, I, I think it's worth it. If you can invest in your kid to train <clears throat> athletically, yes. Even if they're not going to get a scholarship or if they're not the best athlete. And I just say that just because they're, they are going to need those skills in life. Not necessarily. But like a fitness, be, like a healthy yeah, lifestyle. Not necessarily they have to be the fastest yeah. or they're going to have to, you know, jump the highest or things like that. But fitness is a, a lifestyle. Yeah. And as far as athletic training, you we do train those yeah. fitness components. Yeah. So, I mean, you need balance every day. Yeah, you got You need to know how to deadlift and squat and press overhead and just things function, like that. Just run, you function, need to know yeah. how to run. Yeah, just function. I think, yeah, I think, I think it is important. I mean, I had one parent tell me it's like, you know, I don't know if my kid is gonna go play college ball, but I want to give them the best opportunity that they can have at, in playing high school. And then it just moves from there. Let's give them the best opportunity they have here. It's just like you want to give your kids the best opportunity they have in anything right. they do. I think it's that. I think that's important. So, I think, I think it is. Um, so you would say that they should. Yeah, I, I think you should do something, even if you if you're not in some if you're not in um, maybe athletic performance training, maybe you are involved in some type of fitness class, like because we all know PE. You know, ain't doing there's nothing. 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 Um, and now I'm talking about just the general population of students. Um, if you're just in the general population and you're not in athletics, I definitely, I feel like those parents should be looking to invest in their kids getting in some type of fitness program as well. Because, I mean, I mean, what are we doing? You, especially nowadays, kids don't really feel like they ain't outside playing They're as not. much as they, you know, as used to. They're as, not. You know, they have more things that inside the house now. Yeah, we didn't yeah, have electronics. as many things just a few years ago. But I mean, as far as just getting, you know, just getting that athlete or that kid <clears throat> some kind of training, at least then, you know, it's like you can't go back and say, oh, what if? Yeah. You know, you gave or, them their best shot. Yeah. Yeah. We, we gave you a chance. We did everything that we could. Yeah you know, to give you that opportunity and give you the best advantage to go out there and do what you need to do. But, yeah. Well, yeah, yeah. you know, you know, you might you just not have it. Yeah, you know, yeah, I get it. Not just not have not it. everybody gonna play college ball, yeah. but I think a lot of the guys, kids could have a better high school experience. And I, I don't know, I just feel like it, it just carries over, yeah. you know, from if they, I feel like kids that get the training when they get older, they still train and they still work out. Yeah, I think, I don't know, I feel like there's so many things, there's so many things to gain from being pushed to your limit, like physically and mentally. Mental, I think, yeah. I think, um, I don't know, just so many benefits of just training, being with a good trainer, one, that's important, just to say that, that's important because. I mean, one of the most important things is to be learning, right? It's yep. the education part of, you know, about movement and how to move, you know, efficiently and correctly. And, um, but I just think that, I don't know, I think sports and just working out just, I don't know, kind of trains different muscles, I think, mentally for life and how to kind of push through things and times that and you, I th kind I of think gives you, you those reps. I think you hit it on the nail. It, it gives you that mentality for life. Hit it on the nail. Yeah, hit it on the nail. Hit the head. Because that's a lot of, hit it, hit the, what? You hit it on the nail. 
Yeah, it's, you hit it, it on the, the nail. It. You hit it on the nail. But it is the nail. How are you gonna hit it? So what on I'm the supposed nail? to say? You hit, hit it the on the nail head. on the head. So he hit the head on the head. He <laughs> hit the head on the nail. No. <laughs> you hit the nail on the head. So he hit the nail on, on the, the head. head. Well, Not you hit it. But y'all know what I was talking about. It is the nail. I think I said it right anyways. But training, <laughs> training does help you as far as just being mentally strong for life. Yeah, right. For just life. pushing through. Yeah, I pushing agree. Pushing through. I agree. Speaking of pushing through, so if there's ever a time where your energy levels are dropping. Right. Let's talk. And you feel like you need some good carbs to kind of give you that lift. You say some good carbs. I mean, I think good they're car- good. They yeah, taste good. Yeah, yeah. Simple or complex? First of all, these complex. Yep, yep. But they got some simple in there too now. You need a little so. Hey, but I'm trying to tell you right now, if I catch you with one of the original junts, we're going to have problems. This should be the only one I should see you walking out the store with. If I catch you with the assorted pack. The maple and brown sugar is the only one. This is it. They don't even make the other kinds no more. They used to have a strawberry junk. Strawberry and cream junk? I don't know what that is. That one was second. I didn't I never tasted it. That one was second. Because I'm I'm loyal to the brown. But I'm just letting you know. Maple and brown. The Quaker junks, this is what you need. Get your energy boost. Use use milk or water. Boy, don't you ever disrespect me like that. Don't you ever disrespect me like that. I got to ask. Don't let me catch you with water in your oatmeal now. You better put some milk in that thing. That's all I got to say about it. Okay? For over 130 years, the Quaker has unlocked the power of oats (laughs) (laughs) to help people get the perfect start to each day. (laughs) Leave your comments. What will you sacrifice to be great?